Hello guys, Survival Tech Nord here. Today we're going to be doing a quick setup guide for the Whisper Beacon app on Android using the FT817ND and the Chameleon P Loop. So stick with me and let's get started. You are listening to the emergency broadcast systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign area. If you've been around the channel for a while, you'd already know that we use Whisper, Weak Signal Propagation Reporter, for antenna testing and studies. In fact, my latest tests have been with the inverted L antenna configuration, improving its value to the emergency and survival communications communities. Today we're going to be setting up the Whisper Beacon app, we're going to be setting up the FT817ND. We're going to learn how to synchronize our system clocks. We're also going to be testing the Chameleon P loop and looking at the results. First things first, we're going to go to the Google Play Store and install Whisper Beacon app for ham radio and Clock Sync. Install these two apps in your basic phone or app memory, not to the SD card. Once you have both of those apps installed, go ahead and start Clock Sync. So many people still don't realize that modes like JT65 or Whisper are reliant on accurate synchronized clock time on the tablet or smartphone. If your time is within one second of accuracy from the atomic clock, you're good to go and there's nothing left to do. On the other hand, if your clock is more than one second off, you should click update time to synchronize your time with the atomic clock. So now let's set up the Whisper Beacon app. Let's start by entering our call sign. Next, we're going to enter our locator, and there's two ways to do that. The first way is to enter it manually. The second way is by clicking the GPS button and allowing the app to enter it for you. Now we're going to go ahead and choose the power level. Select 2 watts for this first test if you're using the FT817. Now head over to the right side of the screen and choose your band. We'll be starting on 30 meters. Next we have TX Framing. And basically what this is, is a timer. It tells Whisper how often to send a beacon. We're going to leave that at send once and come back to it in a moment. And the final setting is the frequency. It's just like the frequency of PSK31 or MFSK or anything else but uh, we'll just leave it as it is for now. So now we get into the FT817 and audio interface configuration. There's a couple of different settings in the FT817 that you need to adjust. The first is found under menu 26 and it's called digital mode. Set that to user U, which means user upper sideband. You'll understand the relevance of this by the end of the video. Now go to menu item number 25. Number 25 is called Digital Mic. Digital Mic is the outgoing audio level for the digital port on the back of the FT817. We're going to set that at 50. That'll be our starting point. Now we're going to set up the Woofy Link audio transmit level. This is pretty much the same regardless of the audio interface that you're using. The pot adjustment closest to the mini DIN connector is the transmit level adjust. With your radio attached to a dummy load, go ahead and long press the tune button and whisper beacon. This will give you a 10 second tone to adjust your volume and the transmit pot. Now we'll key up the radio using the tune button and whisper beacon and turn the pot counterclockwise for higher transmit audio or clockwise for lower transmit audio. 
We're looking for the spot where we just barely get five bars on the power output meter. When you have five bars, back it off just a bit. This helps prevent distortion and unnecessary overdriving of the radio. Now we're ready for our first on-air test. So you see I've got the Google Nexus 9. I've got my Chameleon P-Loop antenna set up to south by southwest. And I've got my FT817 set up here on frequency. Pay attention here, guys. The frequency in Whisper Beacon app and the dial frequency on the 817 are the same. In this first test, we're going to go ahead and send uh, three or four frames at two minute intervals. We wouldn't normally do this, at least not for very long, but I want to keep this video as short as possible. So set up Whisper Beacon for two minute TX framing. I'm only going to show one frame being sent in this video, but actually I've sent three frames during this test. The Whisper Beacon app has two facilities for checking results. The first is the map display. The map display opens the whispernet.org website, but you'll have to enter your call sign, the time frame that you're looking for, and the band that you want in order to see your results. Once your spots are shown on the display, you can zoom in or zoom out and take a screenshot, then paste those results in your favorite image editing app. The second way to check results in the Whisper Beacon app is through the Reports function. The Report function provides a list of all the stations who've spotted you. You can sort that list by band, date, signal to noise ratio, and a variety of other ways. And actually, that's about it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? All right, guys, it's time to lock down this video. This is the setup that I've used to make this video. I've got the P-Loop, I've got the FT817, and I've got my Nexus 9. I welcome you to share your own results with me and with the community. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, and Facebook, as well as survivaltechnology.net. Best thing you can do to support the channel is give a like and share this video. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching.